Alright guys, check this out. There's this thing called Chaos Mode. Which essentially means bad things are gonna happen if needs are not met. And I haven't met many needs. So uh, bad things are gonna happen. I want to show you uh, what things look like right now. I let the simulation run while I was just kind of reading things. Um, so you can kind of see... This place is doing okay. There's there's some people living okay up here, you know. There's a couple of these houses, and uh, these these places are doing all right. You know, they got their basic little things gone and built up into like essentially two story houses. Like it's pretty sweet. Like they're doing well, you know. Got some little like I don't know what the heck that is dinosaur thing that's like looking at me straight up. That thing's looking at me. It's not an illusion. I don't think, or is it? It is an illusion. Oh my god, that's actually an illusion. That's amazing that they have that in the game. That totally tricked me. I was like, no, that can't be. But it is. Okay, so, anyways. We have... Most of the island is this one ethnicity. I want to show you, there's a big chunk of them over here, and there's one guy over here. So why don't we just fly on over to our little blue neighbor over here so yo hey yep definitely blue <laughs> so this dude he's got a whole group over on the other side of the map that I wanted to go check out so we're gonna go over there there's also we have to grow some miracle berry which is not currently on this side of the map, unfortunately. Uh, how do I fall right now? Here we go. I'm gliding now. Okay, good. Yeah, it's kind of tricky to glide. It's not like it's super easy. So you have to be holding down space and W, but to fall, you have to like double click space. I don't know. It's, it's not, not the easiest. But yeah, check out. All this side of the map is like desolate, and these people, if they don't have their needs met, they're gonna, they're gonna start doing bad things, man. Bad things gonna start happening. Uh, like this. Right here, someone started a fire. Someone's been a terrorist out here. Oh, there's another one over there. It's crime. Bad things, man. There's bad things happening out here. Oh no! Well, you're just playing with the ball. I thought it was like someone throwing something. But I think they do attack each other, and there's like crime and, and whatnot. And if you've read the chaos screen, I'll lot that you need to read this. Like, check this out. Like, they'll start drinking, become criminals if they are not getting enough healthy water. Which, you know, this whole area looks like that could be like the Badlands. This is like Mad Max, dude. Okay, here's the blue people. I want to give, make sure that they, they've got some some decent living standards. They've got a couple people up here. Okay, well, let's make sure that you got some protection against the water, like I've done for the other guys on yonder. yonder. A little bit of protection against the water yourselves. But... We're gonna build this up. We're gonna get you some nice banks of, of crop, essentially, right here. Get you similar to what I did for the people over there. Get you this built up. This is this water here. This is gonna be a lot bigger than this, you guys. You gotta dream big. The blues. I I know my name is Orange One, but I actually really like blue. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you like orange, I'm not looking to start a color or whatever about favorite favorite colors. But growing up, I was always blue. My brother was always red. I was always blue. Just kind of how it is, you know? Okay, this is gonna be a lake. I'm telling you. I know it. So... What we need is to kind of make sure this is... Oh my god, this is not good, guys. Y'all need to chill. Wait. Just chill. 
I promise you, good things are, are about to come your way. I promise you, I'll get you some hygiene. I'll get you some soap. It'll be great. I promise you that. Okay, let's get this kind of opened up just a little bit. Open that up. Wait. Just need that water, basically. That's why I'm doing that. Wouldn't normally want to do that, I don't think. That's just... Okay. Hello? He's singing. I want to make sure that... Actually, I want to make sure these are the right level. These are not the right level. Um, altitude is good. What about these? They're all the right altitude, too. Okay. But it looks like um, if we look at the map, can I see chaos needs? Yeah. Basically everything, I think. Can I um, not look at that? Any of that? I want to see where the fires are. Okay. Waste. Billboards. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, there's some miracle bush up there now. That's great. Okay, so they're going to start producing some miracle bush. That's good for them. Got some fig trees down here. That's good. That's nice. Some Okay, there's some not much of the the big trees though. They they need that to get going to get their industry really going. Things are going. It will get there. This will be a nice little soapberry hill, trust me. As that we don't want that to be our tree. I'm sorry. Long-term investment. Trust me. This whole thing is going to be a nice bank for us. Nice shady bank. You're going to have all the soap. It's going to be great. You're going to have this like soap empire. Look at this nice big shady bank. Oceanfront. Going to be soap town. In, the, in a war for half finished area. <laughs> soap town. <laughs> We also gotta just open that up just in case to just oh, increase our probability of getting more water in here. Okay, look, we already got some water in here. This is perfect. This is what I need. Okay, good, good, good. Open this up just a little bit more so it just flows a little bit better. Why don't we just open this up too? We're just gonna make this whole bank, this whole front area, essentially so very land. Oh, nice! That opened up also a nice opportunity to get some water in here. Cool. Gonna yeah, open that up, make another channel, eventually. Oh, look! There's a nice little body of water too that we can connect here. Cool. I like it. I don't want to like fix the whole area because I kind of like the idea of having like a little bad land war. That you guys can have some soap. Let's have some people attacking. I, I want the blues to have like a little society that runs off of soap that gets attacked by their neighbors. <laughs> I'm a bad man. What can I say? never claimed to be a good person. <laughs> oh man. I'm just kind of interested to see how the game simulates that, you know? Okay. These people seem to be living a little bit better. Life seems to be a calming down for them. A bit the other side of the map is going to be real interesting when I come back. I want to actually get them set up with some Miracle Berry. Um, but it looks like they already have it. But it looks like basically you need like flatland that's getting water. 
Oh, they got some water there. Oh, they got a like they're gonna have, like a little pocket of water there. Do I want that? No, I don't. I need my badlands. I'm sorry, guys. We're gonna get some bad lens going. What is it? It's just up here. What y'all doing up here? Maybe you can have one puddle. Not two, though. I'm sorry. Not two puddles. Just gonna have to fill us on up a little bit. You can maybe have a puddle. I'll allow a puddle. A small puddle. Because <laughs> I think then you might um, produce, like, uh, what is it? Um, like weapons, I think. Okay, yeah. A little bit more bad landy. Yep, here we go. That's that's looking a little bit more bad landy. I have some things going on here. Um, and then there's like this little thing going on over here too. Well, they're looking like they're living okay actually up here. Can't have that influence. Sorry guys. You're ruining my my Mad Max territory of the map. This little puddle. This too. It's gotta go. We'll have a really nice part over there. It's not gonna be that. Oh man, this bear is getting flooded. Okay, I think... Let's see, so altitude's good for a lot of these places. Looking at the needs. A lot of these places need pleasure. Thirst, is that what that is? Okay, um... Social state. All really nature. I'm not seeing too many criminal. I'm not actually seeing any criminal. They're just not lived in. Is that what that is? Uh, let's see. I'm not looking for watermelons. I just want... The emergency status. No real super emergencies. And there's definitely a lot of need. It's all nature. I don't really understand the social state. Is there a way to look that up? I don't know if there is. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be in that. Um, Actually, you know what? I, I wanted to look at making some more Miracle Bush. Because this is apparently something that's super good. Um, so I needed to make these flat limbs essentially high and up away from the coast. Which is essentially what we have here. But we could make it higher, flatter limbs, basically, if we go up there. Look at this, they all got like their little nice little huts. This place is like all green and nice. Okay. Let's see, uh where am I? Okay, this is okay. I'm at basically the flatlands now. Um so let's see what is it that I'm trying to grow? It's the, uh, Miracle Bush, right? So Miracle Bush could grow... 
in an environment like not enough influence? Like what's going on with influence? So miracle bush essentially can grow here in like this environment, so we need like water that goes a little bit more in this environment. Okay. I can do that. Make this kind of go around here. And irrigate that way. And that should make essentially more miracle bush flatland areas get funneled in the right way you keep most of it the right elevation and most of it distant from this water just kind of bring it in that like see it's already like kind of coming in a little bit right and we get like a nice big wave coming through and it'll top up the water and like essentially our cistern you can think of it as. It should make this whole area a nice like miracle berry area. And we can have like some offshoots off of this. And that should make these people very happy here, which I think will make their society work better. is what I'm, I think is one of the things that's missing from this area. Making them like not work as well as they could be working, you know? So we'll just kind of do this for a little bit and we'll see what effect that has on the, on the village. They're not going to like the fact that I'm essentially carving like not a path for them. But we can make like a little bridge for them here. We got to make some bridge for the, these guys or we don't really necessarily have to actually. This whole area is gonna be like this like holy area essentially for them. <laughs> Cause it's gonna have like all this miracle berry. I think. I need to just double check that I'm right about that. So this right here. Just need to make sure that's not the right drain. Is it the water? It's the lack of water. Is it the fact that I think it's uh it's just like too high up or something? Because it could potentially grow in a lot of this, I think. So let's kind of level it out. Yeah, I think that if we level this out, it will make it a lot more conducive to growing the miracle berry. Right? Yeah, like look at that. That's like Miracle Berry Prime real estate right here. I think. Kind of. Yeah. Like look at that. That will grow Miracle Berry for us. So we can like kind of terraform for that purpose, right? Oh. This is too high up, so this needs to come down this whole area. Sorry, trees. I know that you want to grow here, but I'm bringing it down a little bit. I need more Miracle Berry for these people. So I think if I level it out, right? Because there was like a... This area. Yeah, this, we can level this all out. Make it more Miracle Berry-esque. I think we also need more water, is also our problem. Yeah, I think we might need a little bit more water. Because it, it can grow... Where? Kind of like... Oh, is it that it's too low? Is that what's going on? So it's like, was the wire too close? 
Okay, the water's too close. It's the water's too close. Okay. So we can maybe grow it here. We make it higher up. Yeah, okay, this might be actually where we grow it, is right along somewhere like here. It needs influence though, which is I mean it needs to be like within distance of the village or something. Yeah, I think it needs to be in the distance of the village or something. Maybe. I don't know. But that looks like that could grow it here. Right? Is that what it's saying? Yeah, I think that's kind of like what it's saying there. It's like maybe if I make this go down a little bit, I don't know. Is it the tree that's making it like too shadowy maybe? I don't know. I think it's gonna grow here. Somewhere along here. We level it out. Let's just level it out just a little bit more. And it will grow here somewhere. It needs grass basically is the thing. Which means it needs like a nice level area. Which I can I can definitely provide somewhat level of an area. So I'm close to this hut, you know. Maybe we can make more of a level area around the hut to grow it, and these guys can be like the growers essentially of the thing? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, like this could be Miracle Berry territory, it's saying. Right? Isn't that what it's saying? Oh. That's what it's saying. Okay, this is gonna be like a pretty good area, I'm pretty sure. Just need to get this nice little, a little bit more level. And these guys are gonna be very wealthy, I th I've got a feeling. <laughs> right? It's like as it gets leveled out, it becomes more habitable. These things seem to be growing, you know? Okay, so let's have a look-see. We can kind of take this. Have it just go... It, it goes basically to the back of the map. Okay, um... We want water to maybe kind of cut through there a little bit, and we want to do like a little bridge there, right? Yeah, let's do a little bridge, because we wanted to do a little bridge. Are these places habitable now? If I look at them. I think these should be habitable. They're at good altitudes, yeah. Is that a factory? Is that what I think it is? This is a front line. Oh my god. Okay, we need to go back there. <laughs> We've made a front line. Um, I think that might be what's lagging the game out. Yeah. We've made a front line. Great. <laughs> Let's go see what we've made. Oh god. Um, let's see. Can I just... Look at the social states now. We've got some criminal houses. We do have criminal houses now. We have civilized houses. We do have a civilized house, it looks like there. I think that's a factory in a civilized house. I don't know about that. We've got a criminal house, maybe. Is that a civilized house? I don't know. Let's go check out this uh, criminal house over here. Oop. Go check that out. Yeah, we're definitely, I think, pushing the simulation right now. This is what the a nice house. Is this the criminal's house? Is this where the criminal lives? Oh man. Is it you? Who 
Who's in the lifts here? Is there a way of telling that? Maybe like, there should be a way of telling that. There, there should be definitely a way of being like, yo, whose address is this? Okay, I'm sure I can figure it out. I, I don't want to do that right now because there's more important things. There's a front line and a factory that we've created due to um, conditions. Yeah, check this out. There's a factory. What's this? They've got like essentially a lumber mill here that they're using to make weapons. Private. <laughs> oh man. Uh oh. They don't look particularly happy. Let's see what's it like. It's like out here. Okay. Uh, some places they're okay. Not, not all of them. Terrible. Okay, um, well, actually, these apparently are criminals. Great. <laughs> no, this place isn't so bad. It's the criminals. Okay. Is, is that the also? No. Um, okay. Whatever. The... Okay, this is apparently a criminal's house. Are you? You're not the criminal. Some kid. So what's going on over here? There's a front line apparently. Oh look at that! That's kind of cool. What are these things you got going on out here? You're civ. You're not. your nature. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, there was apparently a um, house back there with the criminals that was like a regular house. I just kind of want to see what that was really quick. Sorry. Go back just really quick to the criminals. Or past these criminals. Past the kid. Okay, this is the civilized house apparently. So civilized. The cook. And then there's... This dude, the criminal. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What's going on over here in this uh, front line? They're going to war over soap, I think. I'm not sure. Is that guy? Yeah, dude. Where are you going? What you gonna do? You hang out with the butterfly? Uh oh. <gasps> A blue. What's this? Is that what I think it is? Holy cow. I might need to make sure the blues have more to defend with. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, we need to make sure the blues got more to defend with because they're getting kind of wrecked here. Yeah, they're they're not doing well. Okay, then we need to like kinda like build up um their water into here, like, I think. And help them out a little bit. They're not doing super good in this war. Okay, let's see right here. Let's kind of like trench this out a little bit. Yeah, this is going to be uh, quite the project to get them in a state to being able to resist against their that factory, essentially. Let's see what we can do though. To help them. We'll help them. They will get stronger. And they'll get like their own miracle berry and other things going to help them out. Get their population focused. Oh my god. Is that what I think it is? Is that place getting mortared? Oh good god. <laughs> what have we done? Yeah, these are soldiers. I might be able to stop the soldiers with like some hills. I might be able to like flood actually and create some hills 
yeah, let's go over to the, the front line and do something kind of like that. We'll create a little flood area and some hills. Let's flood this out and then create a hill that goes next to it. Yeah, it should stop them if we kind of create a, a physical barrier as well. It should help protect this area a little bit. Jeez. I feel a little bit bad for the blues, man. Don't worry, I'll make them all powerful. They'll rise from this. The soldiers aren't gonna be happy about having to cross this this river. It should help. I don't know. I don't know how bad it's gonna get for them. It get pretty bad. This should help, definitely. Okay, this barrier. Like that is cutting off, well, not most of the front line, but half of it. So I'm just gonna stand back here and take a little look at what's what we're cutting through a little bit. Okay, so we wanna kinda, yeah, keep on doing what we're doing. This is good. They don't seem to be liking what we're doing. Take that, soldier. Wherever you're going, get steeper. And your mate, wherever he's going, get steeper. Your path that you're taking. Flood, good. It's actually a good thing. Hopefully it will drown some of these guys trying to come through here. Take that, dude. Good. Um, maybe. Should slow them. I think it's slow them. Okay, this area doesn't seem to be benefiting terribly because it's too high. Let's lower this down a little bit. Okay, this, so this area is a little bit, a little bit more lush, a little bit more prosperous. should be better once it's a little bit greener. But it's going to be a process. It's going to be a continued process to make this place uh, something that they can defend. Okay, so we're, we've essentially cut off these, these houses here, yeah. Just keep on going to like I don't know like maybe here. Oh, they've got their own little cannons here. Oh, that's cute. Create this little line in, in the sand, as they say. I'm gonna have this go a little bit longer just because I'm interested in what this, how this plays out. You know? Okay, that kind of hollows that out nicely. And that should end up getting some water in there soon enough. And I think I should help strengthen these guys a good amount. Man, I knew what I was doing, giving them a resource that others didn't have. <laughs> okay, there we go. This, this, that's lowering pretty good. Starting to see it. There we go. Nice. Okay, here we go. Yeah, wherever you're going, dude, is getting lower, essentially. After what you did, I saw what you did. Okay, now I'm, I'm just wasting time. I don't know. Are the blues? Are there any blues left? I hope there are.
Just, I'm gonna finish the wall and then we'll see if I stopped it. I mean, it's like, it's, I either did or didn't, you know. But I tried the entire time. Okay, this is almost, almost to the back, okay. It is getting closer, I think. Yeah, this is the biggest one, for sure. I was using that. Hello, you soldier. Your lantern. Okay, there was like a whole like Badlands and then that turned into this. I mean, I could probably make things better by like, you know, fixing the Badlands situation as well. Uh, I could try. Okay, that should help a lot, but it's not going to improve things completely. And there's also the fact that they're still kind of coming over. I can make this like super steep up here. Right? And then they're going to really not like that coming up here. It's not that I want the wall, this war to completely stop, it's that I just kind of want to make it a lot harder for them. And it looks like they're still coming over, so that means there's still a fight that's being had, right? So that's meaning that this is kind of, I think meaning they're still having something to defend, right? If the soldiers are going around. It looks like the cab are, but maybe not. But we'll see. We'll see what this ends up being like in the next episode. Yeah, I think there will be another one. We'll see though. Yeah, this could be the Great Wall. I think there was... Let's have a look at the stats, though. Let's have a look at what the stats are for the people. Um, maybe the map. Show the ethnicity. Um, Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. Did I do that? <laughs> Is that fire down there? In there? Oh god. What did I do? That's kind of crazy. Okay, well, there's this dude over here that we need to make sure he's doing well. Essentially. I don't know if the, there's the other people who are, are not peace now or what, but... Oh <laughs> man, that's so bad. Dude. Tribal, uh, title tribes, you just, you broke me a little bit. That's insane. Okay, wow. Okay, uh, we got this house here. This is one of theirs, apparently. Doesn't look like it's doing particularly great. Can you get more water to it? Or near it? Yeah, hey, man. I don't think there's much I can do about that, though. I should look at. I should try and find the stats and what I can look to see what I did or how how it went down. I mean, we, we saw how it mostly went down. I wonder if there is still a war going on, though, at all. Okay, that looks like that should be... Do 
doing better. Man, those dudes just came through with like all their like tools and, of destruction. They have like I don't know. I saw mostly just batons and like lanterns, but still. So what's going on here now? It's all like living just fine now. No, there's still like some criminals. It's no longer a front line, I guess. That's insane. Okay, there are officially no more of the others on the on the other side. Okay, I feel bad. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man. So is there a way for me to see how or why things happened? I don't know what I'm looking at here. Is it flipping through people? Yeah, it's like flipping through people right now. Um, there's this factory right here. Well, I'm interested to see how they, how the society is doing. So let's just look at the stats while we're here. Um, society stats. There's you guys, and there's none. Oh, look, there's 15 criminals. There's five classes of workers, one entrepreneur, and there's one owner. Good for them. That's awful. Well, wow, there's oh, a huge amount of wealth dis in inequality. Well, wow, at least the blue canna like, took as many of them out as, as they did. Well, maybe not. Yeah, it's pretty crazy to see like that, actually. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, cause of death was actually three drowning, seven starvation, two fire, only four to war, actually two to mur murder and three to suicide. So maybe the war didn't actually kill them. It was just my conditions just being so awful. That doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that was for one. Oh! No, it was war. Jesus. Oh, God. Well, that was a very uh, one-sided war then, wasn't it? Goodness gracious. There's also war starvation. That's fire, though. Does that mean they maybe, like, fi like died more of their own fire? Goodness. Okay, wow. Um, it looks like unemployment suddenly dropped off around the time that, uh, you know, they went to war, right? Isn't that what happened there? That's, that's just nuts seeing the stats like that, huh? Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna end that here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.